streets of Kowloon, Hong Kong. Got a little bit of a special day planned. I think I'm gonna go get some breakfast, go to 7-Eleven, get some snacks for the day, and then we're gonna go to Lantau Island, which is like this island off the, um, you know, 20, 30 minutes off the coast of Hong Kong. There's a Buddha there that's huge, a monastery, and there's also a lot of great hiking, so we're gonna delve into that today. This little place is about a three minute walk from my hostel. It reminds me of my little panaderia I used to go to in Colombia. Got some ham and cheese buns, some different pastries, so we're gonna stop in here and get breakfast. I feel like I'm not as good at the commentary on the food reviews because I'm so anxious to eat. I don't really want to say anything. But yeah, it looks like I got ham, cheese filled. It's very nice and soft. It's very good. The bread's got a little bit of sweetness to it. I think that helps a lot. Cheese could be a little better, but overall, give that a, for a dollar 30, I, I'm giving that a 7.8. So next, this is the pork bun, I think. Looks like it's like the same kind of bun. Be careful not to have any juices explode on me like I did yesterday with the, with the dumpling. Oh yeah. Oh, it's like chili. Like chili on the inside, actually. I think I preferred the last one just because I'm more used to it, but this one's definitely a little more exotic. I'm giving it a solid 7. 7.0. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for here. The coconut tart. Oh, that looks good. So it's in like a little tinfoil cup here. So the top is glazed. They burnt the outside a little bit, but I don't know if that's intentional or not. The super famous pastry here is the egg tart. They didn't have that in there, so I'll have to get that somewhere else. Okay. It's good. It's like a, like, kind of like a pie crust with, um, like shortbread. I guess it's like pie crust with like a coconut shortbread on it. It's pretty good. I think um, it should be a little more moist. I don't know if that's just because they had them sitting out or what, but I give it a good. I give it a 6.3. All right, so we're carved up and coffeeed up. Time to begin our journey to the Tian Tian Buddha and Lantau Island. Should be about a two hour trip. Here we go. sick I would not recommend that bus ride <laughs> the uh, bus driver was stopping and starting and jerking us all over the place but we have made it almost reminds me of uh, Santa Marta Colombia in the sense you have these huge mountains and the ocean so close to each other I believe we found what we were looking for Considering renaming the channel from Luke Hobbs to Stair Climbing Central. Seems to be something we display a lot of on the channel. I wish I knew a little bit about Buddhism before coming up here. I can give you all a little more context, but I'm just really underqualified on that topic. <laughs> Finished up with the Buddha, now we're on to the monastery, which is just over here. I think that is the first religious structure I've ever been in, I guess aside from the temple yesterday, that it hasn't been a part of a religion I at least somewhat prescribed to or ascribe to, subscribe to. 
Um, it's just kind of weird, you know? It's weird because you're in there and, like, you appreciate it because other people appreciate it, but it just has no significance to you. And it kind of makes you think about every time someone who's a non-Christian is in a church, that's what they're thinking. They're like, oh, you know, this stuff's pretty, but it doesn't mean anything. But just things I think about. On to the monastery. Looking for the Grand Hall of 10,000 Buddhas. And judging by the name, it shouldn't be that hard to find. Alright, well, we accomplished that goal for the day. Saw the monastery, saw the big Buddha. I wish I could have gotten a little more footage of the monastery, but they were kind of picky about where you could and couldn't record and supposed to just kind of respect that stuff. Now that we're up here, I'll go exploring a little bit, see what this Gong Ping village is. I got on a plane, flew two hours to New York, then flew 16 hours to Hong Kong, and then got on a train for another hour, and there's still Starbucks and Subway. Heading now to the Tayo fishing village. Gonna eat lunch there and probably finish out the day there. I came here with the fullest intention of getting seafood for lunch. That being said, after seeing the conditions of how some of this seafood is stored, I think we're gonna make the business decision to not get seafood here. I think I've gone too far and now the menus are not in English. That, that may be my cue to turn back, but I think we're gonna explore a little more. Yeah, I guess there's nothing really wrong with Tayo, you could say, but I just don't really understand what the buzz is about. Everyone was saying I had to, like, you have to go here. This does not qualify as must see for me, I'll be honest. This is like the only place here that's drawing a crowd. I might try one of these Tayo donuts right here. I really just hope it's not something crazy. <laughs> I hope it's actually a donut, not like squid fried or something. So here's the result our purchase 15 Hong Kong dollar for a Tayo donut and another 15 for a mango mochi I'm not really sure what that is but it's cold I'm gonna try it here's our venue right now little Tayo fishing village square Tayo has not exactly impressed me today so hopefully they can redeem it with this donut and other pastry the ham and cheese bun this morning set are high. I think the record for today is 8 0. Better not be like some whack, like cuttlefish or something in this. Ooh, look at that. Flaky like a croissant. Oh, that is good. That's very good. I can definitely see where it's like a fishing village kind of delicacy. It's got a um, it's almost like the breading you would have on a fried fish, but it's sweet and light and airy and there's nothing in it. I mean, look at that. That's delicious. Also, that price, under $2, I believe, that's gonna tie the ham and cheese bun for the day. That's gonna be right at 8 0 Let's try this mango mochi now. Kinda like gelatinous. It's like dough with mango on the inside. definitely weird. It's exotic. The mango is very good. The dough on the outside is, like I said, it's like, I don't even know what to compare it to. It's like raw pasta dough. Give it a 6-0. I mean, I think I'd rather just have the mango on the inside. It's, this dough, I think, is kind of holding it back. Quick follow-up note on that mochi thing. It is really dry. If you don't have a beverage, you're gonna be in trouble with that thing. That, that might downgrade the score a few points. Have those two items saved Tao? I don't know. Now 
want to get some real food because I feel like I've just eaten pastries and bread all day, but I'm just not willing to risk it <laughs> with the <laughs> conditions I'm saying here. There were a bunch of arrows that like pointed this way. I don't know what I'm supposed to see here. Maybe this building is the attraction? I think these people are confused too. Anybody home? <laughs> we have made it to the wisdom path. These are all sawn off tree trunks with some kind of Proverbs or something in the engraved in the trunk. Looks like this one doesn't have an engraving on it. It must be waiting for my input. He's very well behaved.